Hey, what up guys? J-Ho here with another Escape from Tarkov video. This time we are doing the Hardcore Challenge episode number four. Uh, so the last episode, uh, we ran around uh, with a pistol at the end of it. We had a few good games. I'm hoping that the recording was kind of fixed. I know that there was some weird glitch thing happening at the bottom. Uh, not really sure why that was happening, but it's not happening at any other games when I record them. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully that gets straightened out. And if it doesn't, I apologize. Um, I don't really know what's going on with it. Um, but cool. Other than that, uh, we're going to go ahead and hop into some raids. So here we go. All right. So let's see here. What do we want to do? I think I still have to do this 133 shotgun task. I do. Um, we still have the garage. I just don't really have much ammo for it. I think I have a shotgun somewhere. Yeah, yeah. All right, so let's do this and some AP-20 ammo. That should be fine. Throw on some armor. Oh, there's an IFAC in there. I think we'll leave the IFAC behind. We will bring the bandy, though, of course. Mark that number four. I think that's probably about it. Let's throw this on just for shits and giggles. <laughs> and let's see here. To start it off, let's go to maybe to customs. I think customs might be the play here. Let's do it. All right. So. This does have AP20 in it already. Good. I realized that I forgot to check it. I figured that it would have. Make a quick sprint over here. Probably check this. Get a little pineapple. Ooh, that's a nice find. Might as well take it. Why not? So that sounded like it was over here. Sound like an SKS too. Scab up top. Just gonna play around these uh, these woods here really quick. See if we can get a cheeky little kill. All right, it doesn't look like anybody's over here. Other than that, they left already. So. Man, that sounds really close. I don't know if they updated the audio in this game or what. Okay, I see him up there, up on top. He's more than likely going to come back out this way. I think that's two of them. Hmm. 
<sighs> oh man, I whiffed. I whiffed so many shots. I I was confused at first. I thought I saw one up there and then there wasn't one up there. And then they all were, I don't know. That was, that was a little bit tricky. It was a rough game though. It was definitely a rough game. M80s, bunch of M80s. Did I hit at all? I hit once, absorbed by armor. AP20, absorbed by armor. That's a little bit of a bummer. I must say, I don't know what he had on. My eyes haven't really adjusted to the game yet. I feel, cause I, I took it out of full screen and I put it in borderless and I think that's fixing the glitching. Let me see if I can, so I did turn V-Sync off as well. Let me see if, oh, I, okay, no, I do have it on full sync. I, or full screen, I just turned the V-Sync off. That's what I did. I don't know, it's just, it just feels odd. Um. Oh, we do have two SBDs. What type of ammo? SMB? It's not terrible. sure if that shield's jacked or not we're just gonna keep it Cause i feel like i was wearing that already and it wasn't that jacked throw that in there throw that up there throw that right there and let's go ahead and jump into a match where do we want to go no no let's go back to customs let's get some revenge for that all right, so let's hope this goes better than that last one. <laughs> Got the SPD out. We're way out here. I think I'm going to go this way first. So I really just want to try to either find uh, 133 elite players. I mean, if I could find anything else that would help too, obviously that would be super nice. People do spawn over here too, so. So his face shield does have a minor crack in it up in the top, but it's honestly, it's not bad at all. Had many, many worse than this. Definitely want that. Probably load that ammo up in that clip. It is actually really quiet still, though. Let me throw this ammo in here. It's kind of nice that I got extra ammo for this, just in case. Got a key. ZB14, nice. That is actually needed for requests and such. Oh, 
Don't want to stand there too long. It's kind of a high traffic area. Honestly, kind of surprised that I don't hear anything. Doors open. There's probably somebody in there right now. See if we can pull out the old bait them out here. They don't have to be up there still. I, it did take me quite a while to get over here. Got him. Might be a second. Uh, we'll just sit here for a second. Reload this mag. See what happens here. Man, I, I feel like I feel like I might be alright. I just got a feeling that he was solo. Like, I could be up there playing the long con though. All right, let's go. Never search the jackets? What key is this? Baz? Yeah, it's actually not anything. Definitely want the relay. All right. So he has an SKS, another helmet. What else you got in here, buddy? Painkillers, those are nice, actually. Nothing in his pockets. Where's all your ammo? Would be nice to have another rig, but it'll be okay. We absolutely destroyed that rig. Actually, let me go check this, uh, this little office back here. Literally did not double tap that. Sometimes you can find some pretty good stuff in here. Power cable? See, that's nice. Okay, I'm re reloading on exit. Damn, nose is itching. I don't know why. 
another power cable. Can use those for uh, painkillers, so it's actually kind of worth something. Grenade, painkillers. That's fuel, not really. That big video to get fuel right now. All right, so one kill, one kill out of the way. What do you got an SKS? What kind of ammo does he have in here? PS, about half. Yeah. I mean, the peen helmet is nice, but I do have a face shield just in case I happen to run into a scab or just some something that you know can't get through it. I can't hear as well than I could if I had the the little green helmet on. So that's the only downside. Am I mags full? Yeah, they are. Okay. Ah, oh, there's a Karasa in here. Does that mean that there's a dead body around here somewhere? Is that... is that full? Yeah, it's a brand new Karasa. Now, if only I had a backpack to take it in. Alright, so we're running around here. I don't see any scabs up in front of me. It's good news there. This area can be teeming with scabs. Just gonna go around. Keep an eye out. It's quite a ways in front of me. Ah, there is an ammo thing back here. I do definitely need ammo. Oh, wow. That's actually really nice. TP is for... Um, I can use that for uh, the, the vest. The one I had in the last raid. Making sure I keep an eye up at the top in the new area. Alright, so the power switch is on on the extract right here. I could not be greedy and just go and hit it. I think that might be the smart play. Hmm. 
I might just sit here for a second. Somebody behind me. All right, we're going for it. Is a body right there? Scaven here. Is a trait, man. See what else he has? Yeah. It's already opened, too. Cool. It's not bad. Let's see what's in here. I literally clicked on it to search it three times right there. <laughs> it just didn't go. He did have something in his backpack. Interesting. I wonder what that is. We did get a couple guns out of that, though. And I think we actually came out with more ammo for the gun that we had than what we went in with. So that's always a bonus. <laughs> Taking a while to load right here. Okay, there we go. And painkillers. Okay, not bad. Power cable, power cable, ES lamp. Actually, we're going to keep those. We'll keep that. A 7N39 is bomb. I do not have a gun to shoot anything out of it yet, though. Uh, okay. Keep those. That ammo will actually be useful at some point. SKS, nice. It's actually a fairly decent SKS too, which is good, good to have. These matches, I can trade these matches for painkillers too. You know, I know what, we're gonna keep the army bandage and the painkillers. And I think we're going to hop back into a raid. We'll keep the backpack with me just because I kind of wished I actually had the backpack last time. So we're not having a... Oh, actually. Let me see what ammo's in all of these. Oh, what's this? 7 and 37. What? Okay. So we're going to go four, four, I have these first two bullets this is a seven and 37, throw that in there. All right. And then we have, you separate four more out Four. we're going to go six and then we'll just throw the rest in here. Okay. And I just, I don't really know. Should we go interchange once? Yeah, let's let's do an interchange run. I don't think we've done an interchange run yet on this uh, series, so let's go ahead and hop in. All right, so I think the main reason why I avoid interchange right now is most people in interchange are going to be geared and typically not alone. So this could be bad. Um, we did spawn right next to power, so we might be able to get in and out of here quick. We're just going to hit these couple of jackets really quick. Ultra medical storage key? Bro, what? You got to be kidding me. That's a huge key to find right there. That's absolutely massive. Like, what? How do they just find that? Let's 
taking a couple quick peeks for flash drives, and then we're gonna go way over on this side. So typically, the first people to come over this way come from that direction. So we're going to want to get a jump on them, or they get a jump on us. So just kind of peeking out. Do so you want to see? It's inside. Sounded like idea. Nobody might be coming. We might be fine. Chances of that are kind of rare, I feel like, though. Okay. So I'm not really seeing anybody. Just hit this really quick. Pack of sugar. Oh, look, some crackers too. Typically, like right there, you'll see people running along to get back behind there. So that's kind of where I'm keeping my eye out. So I had to get out of this area safely. Everybody might have sprinted inside. What do I have? I have Emricom. That makes sense. Um, do I just go underneath? So it is pretty quiet. I think we're just going to run over here. Careful of anybody over this way. And boom, we're in. Alright, in the shadows is where we want to be. It's dark down here. Face shield is definitely not helping. <laughs> So I do have that ultra metal cookie. I'm kind of tempted to almost go up there right now and check. But if I do, I can't go right away. I have to take it slow a little bit. Ah, I might even want to get up top on this side. I don't buy idea. I think that's what I want to do. I think I'm going to, I'm going to go up these ramps. Is 
It definitely did seem pretty quiet over on this side, so I think we might be alright. Alright, winging it. Wish me luck. So we're an idea. Tool box is open already. So you know that we're behind somebody. find it hard to believe that somebody would have spawned back there. I think they might have had to have gone this way. They traveled over here. Hmm. So we're going to peek around this way. Don't see anything. Here, scabs. It sounded like they were on the other side of the wall, though. Take a peek in here. We are going to need a ton of computer stuff. I don't really need CPU fans right now, but I have empty spots, so we might as well take it. It's hurting anything to take it. Oh man, that's right above me. Wires, that's what kind of a big thing that we're actually looking for. It sounded like it was right up there. So I typically like taking this way up here, just because it's a little bit more concealed, quieter. People don't expect it as much. So we are starting to get a little bit closer. C4 
see what we find in here. And behind weapon box number one, we have a gun. What type of gun? SKS. We got a SKS last round too. I did seem to be fairly decent distance away. We can definitely check this store for G phones and electronics and such though. Alright, so it's people up here. That was behind me. Sounded like the same weapon. Alright, there's somebody in here. I saw a blue dot. Alright, so definitely somebody over there. Feel up. That's kind of where I wanted to go through. I should have shot. I couldn't really see him. It was just, it's so dark in there. It's, it's really hard to see. I saw like a very faint outline, but I was like, dude, I got to go. I'm completely at a huge, huge disadvantage right there. I think this is really a smart spot to loot. There he is. <laughs> Two of them. There was fucking two of them. Damn! Damn it! We got the ultra medical key though, which was sweet. That's a huge find. That key alone, I mean, it can find me a Ludex. It's huge. It's huge, huge. Um, so I think we're going to wrap up the episode there on that one. Man, that sucks. We were, we were kind of outgunned. I, figured, I saw them coming around. I was like, man, if I was them, I would definitely loop around to try to find me. Especially since there's two of them. And I, I honestly, I didn't know it was two of them right there. Um, I, just felt, I just felt odd about that. I shouldn't have shot. 
I didn't. I only saw one, and then as soon as I shot, I saw a second one behind. Her. I was like, "Shoot, dude, that's bad, bad news." Um, but we're gonna wrap up this this uh, this episode here, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, hop into the next episode uh, in a couple days. You'll you'll get that out, and I think now that I got the ultra medical key, I'm probably just gonna run interchange for a bit. So uh, be excited for that. Obviously, uh, we're o for one in interchange. Uh, we did make it out of one raid today, which was nice. Uh, we did get a couple kills in that one, but cool. Thanks for hanging out and we'll see you with the next episode.